Hey, thank you for tuning back in. Um, we're inside the Old Pajeta Conservancy in Nanyuki, a 90,000 acre property, uh, full of beautiful wildlife. Um, and I just wanted to explain to you what a conservancy is. I'm Solomon Wango and you're watching Own Land in Kenya. So what's a conservancy? It's a typical term we use for big, massive pieces of land in Kenya uh, that houses wildlife and protects, especially those that are endangered species. Uh, obviously, there are benefits to cordoning off an area and having wildlife protected. Uh, wildlife in Kenya are considered to be a national heritage, uh, public property belonging uh, to the Kenyan government, which kind of acts as a custodian. Uh, of the of the wildlife for the people of Kenya. Uh, this is a, a positive thing for me if you're thinking about land investment in general. If you can't afford to buy say 90,000 acres like the ones that Old Pejeta is sitting on or maybe uh, 55,000 acres like Sagara Conservancy and Ranch are sitting on just a few kilometers down the road from here. Uh, if you can't afford to do that, what's, what's a benefit? Uh, two, are, are distinct for me in my mind. Firstly, you have a huge area that is protected for the long term. Uh, that for me is important because we own land just four and a half kilometers from here. Uh, it, it, it matters to me that the value of an area is protected by controlling what happens to the environment and what happens to the land as far as fragmentation or subdivision is concerned. So for me, it's a positive being a neighbor uh, to Opajeta because they're sitting on 90,000 acres. As far as we know for the foreseeable future, there will be no changes in the use of this land. And that protects my views. It's why I'm in Nanyuki. I want to wake up in the morning and stare at the beautiful mountain. I want the fresh air. I don't want to come to Nanyuki and feel like I'm in Nairobi. Uh, or you know places like Langata or South Sea where the population and the development is dense so that's one good benefit obviously the other has to do with unique features about the area which are a premium when you're talking about property values in the long term having wildlife so close is a positive even when you're thinking about possible investment options once you've owned the land how can I tap into the tourism industry maybe I can build a nice holiday we can get away cottage that I stay in when I'm in Nanyuki and when I'm not other people can use it either through Airbnb and, and other uh, outlets and, and that becomes a, a live investment for me. So that's a great benefit and uh, again like, like I said before an important reason for why you need to consider investing in Nanyuki now and not in the future because it's gonna get more expensive with time. So. Hope that helps. If you have any questions for us or comments you'd like to share, please feel free to go ahead and do so. You can uh, log on to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also send us an email or check out our website, www.goshenacquisitions.com uh, and we'll be happy to engage with you. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more information on strategic land investment. You've been watching Own Land in Kenya. I am Solomon Wangwe.